Hello everybody. Uh, this tree was one of a group of four or five trees that I lumped together into one video, um, well several videos, but uh, uh, and then made a playlist and uh, I'll link that playlist in the description but now this tree is going to be branching out on its own. Um, I'm not going to repot it this year. It only went into this pot last year I think it was, it might have been the year before. Um, it's grown really well, it has a really nice uh, root base which I really like um, and it's grown really really tall. Um, let's see if we can pan up so you can see that's sort of one season's growth, it's way up over the top of the fence. Um, so I'm going to have to do something about that. But what I really don't like is this horrible, I like this movement but I don't like this strange sort of, almost like a recurved bow, I think that's what they call it isn't it? Um, and it, oh, I just don't like it, it doesn't do it for me and uh, so I'm gonna, well, I'm gonna bite the bullet and I'm gonna take it off. I'm gonna just loosely snip it there so I don't have this whole top piece waggling about while I'm trying to make a clean cut. Um, let's see if I can just come in a bit closer for you. That's better. And then I'm simply going to wire this piece up um, and we'll see how that goes. We may come back in a year's time with the same problem but uh, at least I'll have some taper. This will be a kind of timey-wimey video. Um, it's the 21st of March today, um, but I won't publish this video until later in the year. Uh, so you, I can show you how it reacts to the chop and uh, make it a little bit more interesting for you to look at. Okay, I don't need much wire on this end as all I really want to do is just lift that up. Okay, perfect. I'm going to take off this piece. Um, surplus to requirements. There we go. And uh, I'm just going to quickly try and clean some of this moss out from between the roots so that the roots are showed off a little bit, a bit better. And let's try the slightly more aggressive brush. It's got little brass bristle, bristle, brass bristles. Um, that's a bit better. Okay. Give you a little look at the nibari. It's uh, it's not a classical nibari, but it's it's uh, certainly says this is my patch of land. Blow wind as much as you like. I'm going nowhere, and uh, yeah, I'm really quite pleased with that. So I'm going to put this back on the bench, and uh, we'll let it grow, and uh, we'll film some more as the year goes by. And I will post this video well, when I think it's interesting enough. It's the 20th of April today and the tree has um, responded very well. It did bleed a bit. I thought I would get away with it. Um, but it bled quite a while and had me a little bit worried. But it has recovered well. As you can see it's leafing out nicely and growing away. But it's also shot out lots of these little buds all over, um, which I don't really want at this stage. Um, so I'm just going to rub those off before they get any bigger. And uh, just favour the top growth here. I'm actually going to leave, well, there is one there that I'm going to leave that will help um, fill in that scar so I'll leave that one um, and who knows it might even replace this as a leader but 
probably not. So yeah, 20th of April, trees growing well, everything crossed. We're going to have a good year with this one. It's the 31st of May today, a uh, glorious sunny bank holiday here in the UK, which in and of itself is mentionable because uh, bank holidays are usually, or well, at least this time of year, usually wet, miserable affairs, but uh, today the sun is shining upon us. I'm down here in my little shady corner just looking at this little birch and uh, I'm happy to say it's thriving really nicely but I do want to remove some of these branches I've got a lot of stuff competing to be the leader um, and so I'm going to remove a few branches and chop back a couple more Yeah. I'm thinking I'm going to keep this as my leader. It gives me a nice bit of movement. I'd, this seems a little bit abrupt shooting off. So I'm going to remove that one. Um, I'm going to cut it right back to there. There's a bud here. May pop out, may keep it, may lose it in the future. Nip that one back and nip that back. This piece is quite low and again I'm going to just chop it. There's a piece here right at the top of the scar and another one right at the bottom of the scar which will help fill in. So I'm going to leave both of those and I'm going to take off this one at the very base of the trunk here um, and there's a bud popping out there so um, yeah I think that's probably all I'm going to do to this tree for today um, I'm undecided now at this point and I can't remember what I said in earlier videos because I'm liking both fronts and that's a good thing with bonsai. Sometimes, you know, um, you can change your mind and the tree will cooperate. But yeah, this works in terms of a nabari. This works in terms of a nabari. But of course, I can always put it on a bench halfway up the garden and look at it from both sides. So let's pull out that weed. We'll come back and look at this again. It's the 8th of June and the little birch is growing away rather nicely. Um, I'm still in two minds, which is my front, but I'm vacillating more towards uh, this as my front and um, especially as the trunk is leaning towards this direction. Um, but we've got a nice sweep of movement. I'm just going to remove uh, this big leaf. In fact, I'm just going to remove that whole portion there because it's blocking the line of sight. And yes, I think I, now that I've chopped it, I'm more certain than ever I like this front. So we've got a nice sort of movement. And now I want to bring this uh, more back in line so I'm just going to wrap a piece of wire fairly loosely around it. Um, obviously it's still green, well, indeed red, and um, very soft and will swell and the wire will cut in really easily. So I'm really going to have to wrap this very, very loosely. But conversely, it will also, um, the tree will also set relatively quickly, so just not to leaf off, but that's fine. 
my anchor point wobbling about because it is so loose but uh, as I say because it's so green so fresh this growth I really don't want to wrap tightly in any way shape or form now so uh, I'm going to allow it to bend a little in that direction back a little and then bring it back up and forward I want it to be a relatively straight tree as most birches are um, so I'm not putting a big exaggerated S bend but just that to give it a little bit more movement and that's enough work on that tree for today So it's growing really well um, and I think you know, given that I want an overall height for this tree as being around here somewhere I'm actually going to use this piece of wire uh, to bring this up as my new leader and I'm going to try and avoid the existing piece of wire and take out that top so by bending that piece over I'm actually lifting this piece up in a slightly more convincing way I feel and even then I'm going to take the growing tip out obviously I'm not really looking to build branch structure as such we're still growing this trunk um, but that's giving us some nice movement some reasonable taper and then a bit more taper there as well so I'm just taking out these growing points on the existing branches we'll see what else pops and uh, yeah keep on growing take off those growing pieces that are growing from the base there nice the little birch has been growing away quite nicely uh, it's now the 9th of July I'm gonna have to take off this piece of wire because it is beginning to cut in hopefully it's done its job and uh, the tree will hold in position that's not too bad it has moved slightly but not too terribly so just going to give it a bit of a trim up I'm in two mines here I'll come back to this point am I going to keep this or take that as a new leader hmm no I'm not I'm going to keep that as the leader don't like that piece that's growing straight up that's not too bad um, not too much going on three dimensionally with this tree yet but we we'll keep working on that as time goes by going to take out that growing point and shorten that piece okay it's the 9th of October and uh, although this tree isn't really starting to show its autumn colors yet uh, it's not really going to do very much more than it already has but hasn't it done a lot 
uh, this tiny little twig um, that I wired up here is now well nearly as thick as my little finger um, or at least the tip of my little finger we've got some branching that's going to have to be sorted we've got a bar branch here for example um, and I'll have to decide which one of those goes come spring and uh, these other branches will need chopping back some I don't really want this tree to get much taller than this in fact I might remove this whole section um, and wire this piece up as a leader and then keep that pruned back so that the tree remains at or around this height with this interesting taper and movement and then I can just start to develop uh, the tracery of branches. I'll just have a quick look at this scar in here uh, where it was chopped and that is healing nicely. Let's see if I can't get you a, a closer look at that. There you go, as you can see um, it's rolling in very nicely. The scar below it is almost completely healed now. Uh, probably next season this will uh, heal over completely as well. So there we have it. As I say, very little to do for this, this part of the year. I'm going to just rub off a couple of these buds that, are, that have popped ready to, for next spring on the side of the trunk here. Um, they're not required. And everything else is just, well, it's just grown like crazy and that's why birch are known as the um, colonizing trees. They get in first, grow quickly. They tend to die young and you live into about 60 years or so, by which time the other tree species can have caught up. Navari on this tree still makes me very happy. Um, not classical, it's a little bit one-sided, but it's very much a, I'm here and I'm staying here and I'm holding on to this section of earth for all I'm worth and you ain't gonna move me. And uh, it's done so well in this little pot. I'm really pleased. Well, there you have it. Thank you so much for watching. It is truly appreciated. Drop us a comment, a like and a subscribe, and please, please take care of yourselves. Stay safe everybody.